This tutorial will show you how to make this rainbow spiral hat. You can make this in the colors of the rainbow like I have here or any six colors that you like. This hat is made in worsted weight acrylic yarn and a size H crochet hook. This is an adult size pattern, but it, there will be adjustments for children's size as well. I'm also designing a similar pattern in a bonnet form for babies, so be on the lookout for that. If you make this project, I would love to see pictures. You can post them on my Facebook page, and I'll put a link to that in the description box. Or you can post them on Ravelry, and I'll be sure to see them there. To make this hat, you need half an ounce of each of the colors. These are acrylic worsted weight yarn. I have a size H crochet hook, a tapestry needle for weaving in the ends, and a pair of scissors. We're going to start with the red yarn, and we're going to make a magic ring or a magic loop. So to do that, you wrap around two or three fingers, bringing the working yarn over top of the short tail. Then use your hook underneath the short tail and pick up the working yarn. Now you can pull your fingers out of the loop. You'll see your short tail is wrapped around the loop. When you crochet into your ring, you're going to go over both pieces of yarn. Now chain one, and that will just anchor your stitches onto the loop. And you can, I like to wrap this around a couple times just so it stays sort of out of the way, but still along the loop. Now we're going to begin with one single crochet and one half double crochet. Okay, now pull up a long red loop so you don't have your stitches pulled out. And we'll join on orange, the next color of the rainbow. So hold it from behind. Make sure your working red yarn is out of the way. So hold it from behind and pull up a loop. And then I just chain one to anchor it. Now we're going to hold the short tail of the orange along the magic ring and we're going to crochet over the ring, the short red tail, and the short orange tail. We'll do one single crochet and one half double crochet. And pull up a big orange loop so those stitches don't come out. And pull the working orange yarn and the short orange tail away from your work. And you just join on each color in the same way. I'll do one more to show you again. Holding the yellow tail along the magic ring. Pull up a loop and chain one just to attach it to the ring. Then one single crochet, working over the short tail of the red, the magic ring, and the short tail of the yellow and then one half double crochet, pull up a long yellow loop. So you're going to add each color of the rainbow and as you're doing this you want to make sure you're crocheting over the short tail of the magic ring. So here it's a little short so I'm going to pull it a little bit so that it goes all the way around. You also want all of your short tails to go down through the center and straight down and all of your working tails to come straight away, radiating away from the ring. That'll make it a lot easier once we're ready to tighten this up. So I'll add the green, blue, and purple, and I'll be right back. Once you have all of your colors joined on, this is what you have. And all of the short tails, like I say, should go down through the center. So they're all here on the bottom. And I have them clipped with a binder clip just so that they're held out of the way. You won't have a short tail from the red because that's actually in your magic ring. So don't be surprised if you don't have a short red tail. And each of your working colors are coming away from your work. Now you find that short red tail from your magic ring. should be under all of your stitches. And just 
gently pull on it and you'll see the beginning of the center cinching up. So just keep pulling. You might need to pull on your short tails to make sure they're out of the way and just tighten it up until you can't pull the red tail anymore. You can see how it's cinched up the center. Like that. Now that's round one complete. When you're talking about rounds for this pattern, it'll be beginning picking up the red and doing the red stitches, then the orange, yellow, green, blue, and ending with the purple. And then the next round you'll be picking up the red again. It just makes it um, a little bit easier to follow if you're going to read the written pattern. So we'll begin round two by picking up the red. Make sure you're pulling on the working yarn to bring the loop tightly around the hook so that you have nice even tension. And we're going to put two half double crochets in the first orange single crochet. So your orange has a single crochet, then a half double crochet. In the single crochet, we're going to put two half double crochets. I started with the single crochet when I joined on each color, just to help this step up into the spiral formation. But for the rest of the hat, all of our stitches are going to be half double crochets. So that's two red half double crochets in the orange single crochet. Pull up a red loop and we'll continue with the orange. So pick up the orange, pull your working tail to pull it snugly down, and in the yellow single crochet, we're going to put two orange half double crochets. And you're going to do this with each color until you get back to the purple. Now you'll find that as you're working this, you're going to always be working your red into orange stitches you're always going to be working your orange into yellow stitches and the same all the way around the rainbow. So now we're in yellow, pull it nice and tight and put two half double crochets in the green single crochet. We'll just continue with each color and I'll be right back. This is round two complete, and before you go any farther, it's a good idea, since you have so many working yarns, just to keep everything straight and untwist anything. Usually if you just rotate your spiral, it'll help get all of your threads untangled. You'll want to do that at the end of each row, just so you don't end up with a big knot at the end. So for round three, pick up the red. We're going to put one half double crochet into the first stitch and two half double crochets into the next stitch. Pull up the loop, pick up the next color, and do the same thing. One half double crochet in the first stitch and two half double crochets into the next stitch. For row four, we're going to put one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Row 5 is exactly like row 4, one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. For round 6, you're going to work 
one half double crochet into the first stitch, two half double crochets into the next stitch, and one half double crochet into the next stitch. One. Two. One. For row seven, we're going to work one half double crochet into the first three stitches, then two double crochets, half double crochets into the fourth stitch. One. One, one, two. For row eight, I'm going to work one half double crochet in the first two stitches. then two half double crochets in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next two stitches. So one, one, two, One, one. Row nine, we're going to put one half double crochet in the first five stitches, and then two half double crochets in the sixth stitch. So one, 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 one. and two. For row 10, you're going to put one half double crochet in the first three stitches. then two half double crochets in the next stitch, then one half double crochet in the next three stitches. One in the first, one in the second, one in the third, two into the fourth stitch, one into the fifth, one into the sixth, and one into the seventh. For row eleven, going to put one half double crochet in the first seven stitches, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two half double crochets in the eighth stitch.
one in the first, one in the second, one in the third, one in the fourth, one in the fifth, one in the sixth, one in the seventh, and two in the eighth. For row 12, we're going to put one half double crochet in the first four stitches, then two half double crochets in the fifth stitch, then one half double crochet in the next four stitches. So that's one in the first, one in the second, one in the third, one in the fourth, two in the fifth, one in the sixth, one in the seventh, one in the eighth, and one in the ninth. For row 13, we're not going to do any more increases. This is the crown of your hat. So we're just going to put one half double crochet in 10 stitches, then pick up the orange and do 10 stitches. And then your hat will start growing down for the sides of the hat. Um, and then you just keep adding rows of one half double crochet in each stitch until your hat is as long as you want it. Here's the hat after you've added all of your rows of the half double crochet. I added 18 rows for this adult sized hat and you can see the colors are still evenly spaced around. If your colors aren't evenly spaced around just um, you know add a few stitches wherever you need it. There should be 11 stitches of each color except for one color would have nine and that's just the way because um, your spirals go on top of each other. So from here, this is as long as I want the hat, so I just need to fasten off each color. To fasten off the color, again I'm going to start with the red, and we were doing half double crochets, so I'm going to step down just to a single crochet, and then a slip stitch. And then fasten that off, and go to the next color. You're going to do a single crochet and a slip stitch and fasten off and then go to the next color and just do this all the way around for all of the colors. Then clip your working yarns and weave in your ends and also weave in your end, um, the ends from the beginning. This is how your bottom edge will look once you have all your loose ends woven in. You can leave it like this if you like, or if you want a more finished edge, you can just do one row of single crochet and, you know, pick any color, pick one of the colors of the uh, rainbow, or I'm going to do it in black. So just join on, chain one, and just put one single crochet in each stitch. including the slip stitch and just go all the way around the bottom edge. Once you get all the way around just slip stitch to join that last round and fasten off. And that's your last end that you need to weave in. But you can see how it gives a cleaner bottom edge. Here's your completed hat. You see the spiral in the top. I hope you like this pattern. Make sure you check out all of my other crochet tutorials. I have a playlist of them all together. You can also check out my blog to see my written patterns. 
I add new free patterns all the time. If you want, you can follow me on Facebook or Pinterest, and be sure to subscribe here on YouTube so you don't miss any of my patterns and tutorials.